And here we are, yet again! For the final time, well, actually, not really, in the Desert of Nar, here in Sing, because I am probably doing this again, chucking all of the items into Muses, but that will be after I'm done with the game and done with the achievements, then I'll probably do that, and you can choose to watch it if you want to or not. But right now, we're in a sandstorm, for no reason. It's not supposed to be here, and let's find out if it's in the hub world once we actually leave this place. Surely, surely it can't be there. This is only this area. R right? Right? Also, let's see what we get in our little fountain. Yep, here they are. And yeah, no sandstorm. Broken... Oh, what? Golden banana? Oh! Nice! So... I tried... Okay, hold on. One second. I tried going back into Nahele Rain and picking up the golden banana and chucking it in, and then I warped back out to the main world and didn't get it. So I thought, oh, that's a shame. You don't get it. It doesn't work like that. And that's... After that, I was told about the whole chucking things into the pond, I think, or... Was, was it that or... No, wait. No, that was before, but I was told about the muses, that, that the muses work like the pond and you can do it in the levels. That's right. And, uh, I guess since you, since I chucked them in, they were, like, stored in limbo. And then once you complete a level, even if it's not the same level that you did them in, so we could, like, jump in here, chuck some stuff in, jump in here, chuck some stuff in, and then beat Desert of Nar. And then they would all come spewing out. I assume, but maybe only for the very first time you do it, because if we, uh, if we, like, go back and redo a level, we don't get this sequence of it spewing up, I think. Have I confirmed that? I don't know if I have done a level twice already. Don't think so. But anyway, let's not take this thing and let's, I mean, check a durian, I suppose. Oh dear, that smell. Also, I should not do that. I should go to a muse. And yeah, there's there's the little bamboo thing. I mean, I want to call it a bamboo shoot, but I don't think this is a bamboo shoot. I have no idea what this is, but certainly not that. And we don't have another durian. Just this versatile fruit. And the melon? So if I just go to this muse... Yeah. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly dee. I love tasty coconuts. Great. And if we chuck... Ah, I was wondering, what am I hearing? Am I hearing like a train in real life? That's just honking the horn forever? But no, it's it's just this one. And we, if we chuck it into the fa the fountain, uh, pond, I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. But now, golden banana. It's probably just gonna say, oh banana, I would imagine. Oh banana, exactly. Oh banana, oh banana, oh banana, oh banana. Have this. Oh banana. And... This one, drum roll. What the hell is this thing? Place your guesses now. I've never seen that thing before in my life. No, I neither have I. Tell me what it is. God damn it. Also, are you have you even lived? I thought you were some sort of entity, not really like a living thing. I've never seen that thing before in my life. Oh yeah, I see, the muse in this is a little bit different. The, like, two-line things appear in two lines. No clue. There was also one of these that had, like, two different lines. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh god, I almost overshot it. Ram? Such a fluffy creature, it was not that one. Crane? Live long, prosper. Don't know what the significance of, like, a crane is in relation to, uh, Star Trek, is that? I don't even know. Elephants don't forget. I know there was one. 
How cute. How cute. How cute. Was it? Maybe it was just the, uh, the collar. Yeah, it was probably the collar then. Yeah, one more thing. Oh, okay, never mind. So this one doesn't really say much. Alright. Well, cool. And... I guess I can check the, uh... The scepter and stuff. A scepter to command the winds. Oh, is that what it did? So that's what gave me the power to do it. A scepter to command the winds. This one I already checked. Fit for a king. And the bird I already checked. Whoops. Birds of a feather. And the lamp I already checked. Did I? No, I didn't. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty living space. Nice. Rest in peace. Alright, and finally, there we go. Oh shit, actually, I kind of wanted to run back there before we... Wait, can I just, like, leave right now? Whoops, well, I can die right now. Escape! Escape! Yeah, okay, now I can initiate the, uh, talk whenever I want. I just want to go back here quick and check the, uh first starting room with a big gate, because I bet that's what's, what's going to open now, but we probably need to talk to him first. Yeah, I assume we do, and I guess he'll give me something to slot in here? Maybe? Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to finish the game. I assume this is the ending. I'm going to finish it now, and then we're going to bother with a DLC because that was added later on, so most people who had played the game had already beaten the game entirely. So I feel like that's just right to do and leave that for for last. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna do anyway. Hey, guy. You made it back, old friend. A journey is not a journey if there is no growth. Now you have more than proven yourself ready for the final key, which will unlock the door to setting yourself, setting all of us, free. Oh shit! One soul wears many faces. Huh. Do I still die here? No, I don't. Can I still throw items into it to get them analyzed? Yes, I can! What a versatile fruit! Okay, that's neat. Alright, let's do it. And there it is. Like, Asura's star or something. Let's put this in a muse. Seek the first and final door. Yeah, I know. I know. Let me just chuck it into the water instead. And then I have to reopen it. Yep. Alright, let's go. Let's beat the game. I don't know if there's like a final world. I wouldn't wouldn't think so. There's like no achievements for it or anything. I mean, there was one uh, secret achievement for it, but I mean, there are no letters, no... Poems, no nothing, but maybe, maybe there would be a world that didn't have that. I have no idea. Let's find out. Probably just like an ending sequence, I would imagine. Doesn't seem like the animal that I chose has any significance whatsoever, which is a little weird. I thought it was going to at least signify the order of the levels you played, but I guess not. Can't take it back. And now we leave for heaven or something. We were a small nomadic tribe. Thousand years ago. 
Good for you, Tlaloc. Oh my god! I'm just hearing all of the whispers in all of my ears. Every single one of them. And I can't go back. And that's death. Okay. There's something over there. A muse, I think? The steps of Akasha. Close enough to Azura, I suppose? Hello. Soon the cycle must end. The voices did. Give me this. Nope. Day night switcher. But it's inactive, I see. Oh, and I can't go up here. I see. Can I? I feel like I need to, like, raise these, but. No? This looks nice. Ah, there is something here. Um, all is one, one is all. It's the final talisman. The turtle one, or is this just one of the four? Can you check progress here? Uh, yeah, like, that's frog, that's turtle. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do all four of them. Use all four of the talismans to piece together the final thing. Aha! And that activates day-night power. Aha! So maybe there will be some small amounts of actual puzzles in here. That would be fun. I was expecting just a straight up like ending sequence with nothing to it. But if there's more than that, I am more than happy. I see. So I need to turn it is nighttime and I need to turn it daytime so I can rotate this platform. Oh my god. Yeah, that's cool. This is really cool. Visually this game is fantastic. I really like all the environmental designs and stuff and it's so bright and colorful and saturated. So I guess I could switch it back to nighttime now if I wanted to, but I guess I'll leave it as daytime and not complicate things needlessly. Whoa, what the hell? I'm above the world. Lives you have lived tied together by the strings of time. Wait. Oh, it's like reincarnation? I was all of those people? Maybe? And that's... you need to like relive all of your lives in order to truly pass on or in order to reincarnate yet again. I don't know. And then we fly up yet again. And here's another one, but this one is still the turtle. Can't press it. So we're gonna ascend into heaven. And I can rotate that, alright, and then I can turn it nighttime again. Snow falls, water freezes. The first test awaits. Alright. Yeah, maybe this will take a little longer than I expected. If I just jump down here, 
you do actually fall down into the previous area, but I gotta try this. Can you fall down? Like, oh, well, of course I can fall down there. But if I were to jump, say... Can I even get anywhere where I can jump down like that? Maybe, like, over here? I'm just gonna test that, because I'm curious. This might set me back quite a bit, but let's do it. No, you just void out instantly, even though you could maybe fall down there. That's good. I like that. That means you don't waste too much time when you fall. All right. Night time. What is with this thing, though? Why can't I, like, activate it? And then we turn this, like so. And I could switch it back to day, but we'll leave it night for now. Once again, confirm. Okay, I'm getting close. And there I actually did fall longer. So, it might be possible. Yeah, I can walk through here. Alright, right here. This is prime example. Prime opportunity. You do fade out. Alright, so they save you so you don't have to redo and just walk back the entire way. That's nice. Oh, what the hell are we doing with these blocks? And I guess we can freeze it to push the blocks, like, quicker. We need one here. And we need one... Oh. Huh. Yeah, there's gonna be icicles here. I see, I can't push it here. Okay. Yeah. I could, if it's daytime, I can push this one block over, but that's it. So we do need to freeze it, and then slide them all around, and get one over here, and the other over there. And it doesn't seem to matter which one goes where, just that you have one in each spot. Yeah, man, wow. This is probably gonna take more than this episode. I didn't think it would be more than, like, a tiny little thing. Um, I am kind of reasonably confident I can jump either here or here. I'm just gonna test it. Didn't jump. I guess you don't jump all that far, really. Oh, that's actually kind of close. I do think you lose too much verticality, though. Just gonna try one last time. You know how I am. Just one last time. Holy shit, you can. Alright, just one last time. So that's a skip you can do. I'm not gonna do it, though. Wow, two in a row. And... We could, again, make it daytime. Do I need to? Was that a daytime block here? No, that's nighttime. Oh, I guess it's not really much of a skip, seeing as you just flip it around. Stop it. Flip it around anyway. But you just can't go in here. Whoa! Okay. You just can't go in there when it's frozen, but I still haven't even found the frozen thing. Right, because I need to activate this. As soon as I activate this, we'll start seeing freezing shifters. I can't jump this, can I? If I fall here, it's gonna be really annoying, so I kinda don't wanna do it, but... And this does look a little bit higher, so I kind of don't feel like you can jump this compared to... Compared to this jump, this looks much closer, and it's the same level. So yeah, reasonably confident you can't jump this. Yeah, this is way too far. Alright, here we go again. Shoot that thing. There it goes. Oh, and this one switches. Do all of them switch? Oh, I see! 
So all of the switchers will switch to the power that you currently have active and then you need to like go back here and on each level will have like two different uh, little statues that now I can go back and activate the statue back here to get the day night switcher back. But I would need to like change all of this around. But yeah, this one I could definitely press and get the day night. All right. So that's kind of tricky. And we do need to do that because we need to move the, the night one first and then the day one. I am a little bit worried because I'm not sure how mean they will be with this last puzzle. Because there's two different ways this could... Uh, or uh, they could go about doing this. One way would be... Can I drop down here? Yeah. One way is the easy way where I can just push these blocks one by one and eventually get one here and one there. No problem. The other way is one of them will require help from the other block. So you need to place it in a certain spot, then switch back, then push the other one over to like get over here or something, and then switch back again to finish the first block. I have no idea, but... I guess we'll find out. So this one can't just go straight across. It needs to go... like there, and then here, and then there, and then it would be here, and it would get stuck there. But not if I push it there, and then up here, and around and then in there. So I can definitely get the uh, night block in there. Could I get the day block over there without help though? If I push this over here, it stops there. And then this way, that way. And then it gets stuck here. Push it over this way. And it's there. And then over here, and you can't really do much. Okay. What if I use the, uh... Whoa. The night block. If I push it there, and then here... Yeah, I have a feeling this is what... I was talking about. I need to actually use the night block to set up the day block so it can go down this path. Because the only way we can have it go down this path is if it gets, uh... Locked in place. Yeah, like if I push the night block over here and then lock it right there Then I can push the day block into this section. So I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do so I, I Don't know if there is an easier way to do it But I guess that's what I'm gonna gonna do because I did figure out that I can just get the night block over there No problem. So oh no, I forgot about this little little guy wait no, 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 that's, that's fine, because I can push it over here, and then this way, and just leave it there, and no, wait. No, I can't do this, because now this block will be reset when I unfreeze the, the snow, which I do have to do, right? Because I can't get in here, so I can't rotate the night thing. Oh, of course, so I just have to... I just have to rotate it away... ...before I switch to freezing, right? Like, instead of freezing there, I leave it normal and then jump down, then go in here and rotate this around to set up the, uh, the day-night switcher, and then I make it snow again. Oh boy, yeah, this... Actually, it seems a little complicated, but I think I'm on the right track. I think I can... Oh! Oh, you can just jump down. I guess I was overcomplicating things, like, massively. I think I would have figured it out, though, or, like, what I was saying actually did make sense. I could have done it that way, but you don't need to. Yeah, so now those are flipped around. And yeah, it's still frozen, so that's fine. So the the night block should not be reset. Yep, 
And now I can push the day block. So this way... Wait. Oh no, right. Yeah, gotta push it that way. Up here. And there we go. For a second there, I was like, wait, you could just push it in? Once again, I was severely over overcomplicating things. Nope. There we go. And there we go. And off you go. And just make sure it's, like, on these squares. Yeah, like that. Because then we need to unfreeze it in order for it to be free. And now we switch it over to nighttime again. So yeah, let's finish up this puzzle. And then after this, I'm going to call it there for this episode. But yeah, this, this was fun. This puzzle is good. I'm really liking this last area. And as I said, pleasantly surprised that it's actually an area. It's actually something with puzzles and challenges and using all the powers and stuff instead of just being a little sequence, ending sequence that just has nothing going for it. Alright, but now... Uh, oh god. Ah, now I can jump across here. Yeah, for a second there I was a little scared. Yeah, that powers that, changes the switchers, and both blocks should be fine. And I need to switch that over again, so that I can get in here and switch the night block. Wait, do I? Did I even need to do that? I don't feel like I needed to do that. I feel like that was probably a little unnecessary, because I already had this set up like this. Right? I just need to make it daytime. Yeah, pretty sure I just did something unnecessary. But at least it didn't screw anything over. And we push this the rest of the way, and it clicks into place. Which is weird, because this one didn't click into place, I guess because... You can get one there first, and then if it clicked into place, then you would be fucked, because you need the other one. That's like your hint, that you need the other one to get to that one. Maybe. See, I don't know, should I... Should I keep it... Freezing? I guess I'll just leave it like this. And we'll see if I need to. But there we go. Another floor done. Should I cliffhanger it? Eh, let's let's jump up. Just to make sure it like auto saves or whatever. Oh god. And here we are. Giant rope bridge. I'm gonna leave it there for today. I guess two out of four. Little mini areas, mini puzzle areas done. And after that, who knows? More? Probably not. Probably the ending. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.